The Fresno State baseball team wrapped up its play in the Tony Gwynn legacy today with a win. The Bulldogs beat Missouri State 3-2. They go 3-0 in the tournament with a win over 25th ranked Cal State Fullerton and they improved to 5-1 overall this season. Despite the fact the Bulldogs were on the road this weekend, we still talk Bulldog baseball with a Fresno State legend. Terry Pendleton was in town. Our Scott Bemis caught up with him. Yeah, Andrew, we've caught up with a very special former Bulldog, a former Bulldog baseball All-American in 1982, Terry Pendleton, out in town here for the, uh, for the Grizzlies hot stove. How great is it to be back in Fresno? It's awesome. <laughs> I'm getting an opportunity to see some people I hadn't seen in a long time. Uh, it's an opportunity, honestly, that I, it, it's funny that I'm getting a chance to be here. Usually when something comes on in Fresno, my schedule is always taking me in a different direction. So I am supposed to be in spring training right now, and I'm here, and I'm definitely glad to be here. Now, Terry, of course, a special advisor to the front office right now with the Atlanta Braves, a team that you won a 1991 National League MVP award with. And in 1982 at Fresno State, you set a school record with 98 hits on a team that won 22 consecutive games at one point. When you think back on 81 and 82, your time as a Bulldog, what stands out? Uh, I think we had a ball game that we lost 11-9. Um, uh, to nine. We were down 11-2 in the ninth inning with two outs and nobody on base against the uh, University of Santa Barbara. And we lost the game 11-9 with the winning run at the plate. And I remember the next day Bob Bennett telling us we didn't need our bat, balls, or gloves because we were running the entire practice because we should have played that way for eight innings instead of just the ninth inning. And so uh, we all learned a lesson from that day. I think the other thing that I learned in that 22-game hitting streak, we, I mean a 22-game winning streak we had, if I had hit in that 23, third game we'd have probably won it too. I, I, we had a 22 game hitting streak, I mean a winning streak, and I'd hit in 22 straight also. So I took that upon myself to say that was my fault. We lost that. <laughs> I didn't get a hit, so we lost the thing. You're a Fresno Athletic Hall of Famer. You're a Fresno State Baseball Hall of Famer. How special is it that people still want to hear from Terry Pendleton and, and still honor Terry Pendleton? It, it's, it's funny to me, to be honest with you. I, I, I never... Even playing the game, I never looked at myself as that type of person that somebody would want my autograph or want to spend time with me or want to talk to me about the game of baseball or life or whatever it is, but it's an honor. You know, the older you get, you, I, I guess you start to uh, understand and appreciate it more. And uh, the older I'm getting, I'm starting to understand it and appreciate it a little more. But I've never been a guy that will sit back and look at what I've accomplished. And other people bring it to you, and when you start um, – I got inducted into the Braves Baseball Hall of Fame this late January, and Coach Mike Rupsich came in from Fresno, and a teammate of mine, Dan O'Leary, came in from Frisco, and uh, you just, you, you kind of appreciate, you start looking back and you appreciate the people that you've had the opportunity to grow with. And so uh, for me, to see people still acknowledging the fact that I played the game and, and to them I played it the right way is, is a great honor, it really is. All right, that's Terry Pendleton, helped put Bulldog baseball on the map then went on to have an exceptional 15-year big league career.